I wasn't even sure it was a wart, but a bump was slowly growing on my finger and it annoyed me, so like any normal person, I duct taped it. And it got rid of it. Hopefully this video will help you with your warty duct tape adventure if you choose to go down this route, and you may be surprised by how damaging duct tape is to your body. Your experience will vary greatly depending on where the wart is. Mine was on the end bit of my middle finger, which was a mixed blessing because it made it easy to duct tape around it in a way that held, but it was bad because it was close to my fingernail and all that, and I get the impression that duct tape isn't good for you to have on your body for a long period of time. I quickly learned that there's a sweet spot to tightness. You don't want the duct tape to be tight enough that it's uncomfortable or causes your finger to swell, but you don't want it to be excessively loose either. I got pretty good at finding the perfect tightness to keep it on at, but without disrupting my life too much. Within days, I didn't even notice the duct tape on my finger anymore. If possible, I recommend using a thin strip of duct tape that won't get in the way of your typing or from stopping your finger from bending. Once that's done, it's no longer a hassle and is reduced down to being just a curiosity on your finger, a talking point between friends. I wore that duct tape 24 hours a day, 6 days a week, and probably did this for 3 or 4 weeks. I replaced the duct tape about twice a day, most of the time it was fully wrapped around my finger, but for an hour or so I tried to only have the wart region covered, to give the rest of my finger time to breathe and to recover. I got into good habits with that duct tape, I removed it for showers then immediately put on a fresh bit afterwards. Skin's a weird thing, isn't it? It's useful stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's not as much of a barrier as it looks and it quickly gets messed up when it's covered with something like duct tape. It quickly gets all wet and rubbery feeling, and it started looking red and inflamed around the base of my nail. Like I said, I don't think duct tape is good for you and it's why I try to give my finger time to breathe for a few hours every day, but it sure did a number on the wart. After a week or so, the wart was no longer a bump, it was more like a deep hole in my finger. It was still there, but it really felt like I was making progress towards removing it. Problem is, I started getting other holes in my finger around it. I don't know if this was revealing other areas that were affected by the wart, or if the duct tape was simply merging the rest of the covered skin as well. Within 24 hours of being uncovered, it all returned to normal and the wart raised up to become a bump again. After about a month, I stopped using the duct tape because I, th I think I went away on holiday and it wasn't practical to carry all the duct tape with me. The wart hadn't gone completely, but had appeared to have shrunk down to about half its original size. Then the magic happened. Over the next month or so, it continued to shrink until it was gone completely, no duct tape required. Hopefully this information furthers humanity's knowledge into duct tape based cures to things. I'm still not sure what it is about duct tape that's meant to kill things. Is it the adhesive? Or is it just the fact that it's covering the wart to stop it from breathing or photosynthesizing or whatever? I wonder if it's just because it kills the skin that's surrounding the wart, which indirectly causes the wart to also shrivel up and die as well. Because what I remember most from this whole experience is how toxic that duct tape seemed. Yes, it kills warts, but it doesn't seem to be too kind to anything it touches for long. There's a curious bump on my fingernail, which I presume is the bit of nail growth that was covered by duct tape as it was developing. It will soon grow out, but yeah, this video is to fill a gap on the internet. I heard a lot of people recommending duct tape to remove warts, but not much follow up about the experience or what it's like to go through it. But I can confirm it works, I can recommend it, but just try to limit the area the duct tape touches. It's nasty stuff. I know you shot me.